friends, I'm Akash, and in this video, we're going to learn simple three-digit division, which is dividing three-digit numbers by single-digit numbers. So, let's jump right into it with our first example. 196 divided by two. Now, the way we're going to do this problem right here is we're going to take a look at the first digit of 196, one. And then what we do is we ask ourselves, is one greater than two? Well, one is actually lesser than two. And that means we have to extend the line we've created over here and we extend it so that instead of one, it crosses over to the next digit and becomes 19. Now, is 19 greater than two? Obviously, yes. So now, we have to find the greatest multiple of two under 19. And that actually is 18, which is two times nine. So nine is the first digit of our answer, right here. And what's two times nine? It's 18. So we write 18 right there. Now we subtract 19 and 18 and we get one. And now the final step of this cycle that we're going to repeat is we drop down the next digit of the original number. So in that case, that would be six. So we drop down the six and now we have 16 and now, as we have seen right here, we're left with 16, we can start the cycle over again. So, is 16 greater than two? Yes, and one thing you might notice about 16 is that it is already, as you can see right here, it is already two times eight. So, eight is the last digit of our answer. And what's two times eight? It's 16, so we write 16 right there, and now 16 minus 16 is zero. And since the answer to that was zero, since there are no remaining digits left in the original answer, we get 196 divided by two is 98. Let's do another one. Say 252 divided by seven. Now we look at the first digit, that's two, and we ask ourselves, is two greater than seven? No, two is lesser than seven. So we extend the line out to the next digit, so instead of two, it's 25. Now, 25 is obviously greater than seven, so now we find the greatest multiple of seven, which is under 25, and that is 21, which is seven times three. Now, three is the first digit of our answer, and as you can see right here, seven times three is 21. So, you write 21 there. Now, 25 minus 21 is four. And the final step in the cycle that we're repeating is to drop down, so that next digit would be two. So, we drop that down, and since we now have 42, we can repeat the cycle over again. So, as you can see right here, we have 42, so is 42 greater than seven? Yes, and one thing you might notice about 42 is that it is already seven times six. So, six is the last digit of our answer, and seven times six is 42. You can just write that there, 42 minus 42, it's zero, and since that answer is zero, and since there are no remaining digits left, we can confirm that 252 divided by seven is 36. Let's do one final one. 536 divided by four. Now, obviously, like I said earlier, the first step was to look at the first digit of our dividend, 536. The first digit is five. Now, is five greater than four? This time, it's yes. So five is greater than four, which means what we can do right now is find, like we said earlier, the greatest multiple of four under five, which is obviously four. And four is four times one, so we just write one 
in the answer. Now, five minus four is one. And now we drop down the next digit in the dividend, which is three. We drop that down, get 13. So now we have 13. Let's repeat that cycle again. So is 13 greater than four? Yes. So what is the greatest multiple of four under 13? Well, that is 12, which is four times three. So three is the next digit of the answer. And four times three, 12. So we write 12 there. Now it's 13 minus 12, it's one. And now the one, the one other thing we do is obviously, like I said earlier, we just drop down the next digit in the original dividend, which is six. So we drop that down, and now as you can see right here, we have 16. So now what we can do is repeat the cycle again one more time. So is 16 greater than four? Obviously yes, and one thing you might notice is that obviously 16 is four times four. So four is the last digit of our answer. Since four times four is 16, we can just write that over there. 16 minus 16 is zero. And since it is zero and there are no remaining digits left, 536 divided by four is 134. Now, you know how to divide three digit numbers by single digit numbers. Now, it's homework time. Try figuring out what 195 divided by five, 384 divided by six, 201 divided by three, and 824 divided by eight are. I know you're going to get them all right, and if you want to check if you're right, then the answers are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.